makes the heart happy, old, young, poor, and rich. Everybody enjoys music, and I think the angels in heaven have music. I give this advice to everybody. If they know how to play, no matter how small the, the song or how little they know about music, play music. Get your guitar or whatever you and, and, and try to make your life a little easier. That's great. You learned that from your mother and your father my and your uncles? My mother and my daddy and my uncles, you know, Rolfo Chavez and Daniel Suazo. My father's name was Damasio Martinez and my mother, Rafaelita Suazo Martinez. They took me to their dances to play and I appreciate it. My grandpa on my father's side was Canuto Martinez and his mother uh -huh. was Leandra Valencia Martinez. My uh -huh. grandpa Martinez used to play accordion and he got my father interested in accordion and so my dad, he bought an accordion and when he got married with my mother, he began teaching her lessons in the accordion, and finally she learned and both played accordions. That's wonderful. And then my mother taught him how to play the guitar. So he was playing guitar too. So she made a musician out of him too in the guitar, see. So you know, these accordions are like a little teaspoon on the side, remember? Uh -huh. They didn't have this little... And one day, you know, this accordion got very old and it tore on the bottom, but then they gave it to me because they, they knew I was interested in accordion and they wouldn't let me that new, you know. Did you I, fix I, it with some tape? No, I just put it, I just stuck my knee on the hole of the accordion uh -huh. and I played it. <laughs> oh, that's and great. And I played it. I just stuck it there. And that that's kept the air in there. So when you were like seven or eight, you started to play? Playing the dances and the schools and for my uncles when they came, you know, and, and when they gave me a little money, I was really happy, and that got me more interested in that. And then you saved your money to buy your own accordion. Yeah, my own accordion. Was that accordion in the picture? Uh, my father bought that, that in 1936. That's who, who I won the accordion with. And that's when you were about 13? Yeah. Well, what's the other tune we're supposed to make people happy with? <laughs> well. In 1943, I met Max, and my dad said, I'm going to introduce you this this boy. He says he wants to play the violin. He said that he thinks you could follow good in the accord. I said, I don't know, Dad, if I could. I said, but then uh, just as soon as I look at his face, you know, it looks like long came at first sight. And I said, well, let him come and help. So he helped, you know, so he helped the whole night long. And my dad said, well, we better pay you too because you're helping. So Max says, no, he says, we don't need to pay you. And then mother said, well, he knew he was going to take our daughter away, so why would, would he want to be paid? <laughs> so he enjoyed playing with us. And he said, well, you know, he says, you're the only accordionist that had been able to, to follow me in the accordion. He said, he played first and I played second, you know. And so when we got married, we made a four-piece band, my mother, my dad, Max, and me. We went all over the cities to play and here in the country, you know, weddings, parties. It's that funny thing, you know, you get in love with a person, I guess, that you're supposed to get in love, not, not everybody. And he was the one, you know, and, and still he's in my heart, you know, he's... He's dead, but he left many memories. And then he showed me a lot about guitar uh, chords, you know. Maybe we have to have you sing your beautiful song about your pretty Dahlia. That's my flower that is my favorite, you know, and I composed the English word to it because the Spanish words have been for a long time around, you know, the country. But then the English words I put in myself. Uh -huh. So let's hear that. Qué bonito huerto tienes, flor de dalia. Sería mi amor el que las anda regando. La 
dame un besito y un abrazo en cuando en cuando me traes sin grida con tu ingrato corazón oh what a garden my pretty little flower it's my love that really makes you grow oh my darling my pretty little dahlia I'm going crazy for your love. De tu jardín me darás una rosita que se llame blanca flor de amapolita. Me decía la vida mía, estoy solita. Me trae sin grita con tu ingrato corazón. Your garden, I want a little love. Oh, your garden, I want a little flower. Oh, my darling, my pretty little Dahlia, I'm going crazy for your love. De tu jardín me darás una semilla que se llame blanca rosa de Castilla. Que te olvides imposible vida mía, me traes sin grida con tu ingrato corazón. That is so pretty. I love that flower and that's my favorite flower, you know. That's why I plant them in that summer and then in winter I put them underground. To that, save them. Uh, to save them and then in May I plant them back again and people just adore the flowers. I give People flowers to my cousins and my neighbors, and I think that God, you know, he sees I do that, and he makes them look pretty every time. Mm -hmm. The same thing with my garden. I plant a garden. I plant it for people. You know, I give people, and then I have enough for myself, and I think this is the way it should be. Be nice to each other while we can, because this life is too short, mm -hmm. and we better... Let's see, you know, you sing a song I really love called El Tes Testimonio. El Testimonio, which it means this guy that was investigated, but this uh, investigator, you know, and he told him what he owned and everything, and he didn't own too much of anything, but he, he was happy, and so he told him what, he, he played the guitar for the guy too, you know, he told him all about his clothes and all about his, the way he lived. Tengo unos zapatos de cuero de red Que por donde quiera se me ven los pies Apunte usted, señor escribano El dedo, la pluma y la pluma en la mano Y apunte usted Tengo una chaqueta de muy buena clase Que ya no le queda más que lo de atrás Apunte usted, señor escribano, el dedo, la pluma y la pluma en la mano y apunte usted. Tengo unos zapatos de cuero de res, que por donde quiera se me ven los pies. Apunte usted, señor escribano, el dedo, la pluma y la pluma en la mano y apunte usted. Tengo unas medias de saco de guangoche. Que por donde quiera les prendo su broche. Apunte usted, señor escribano, el dedo en la pluma y la pluma en la mano y apunte usted. Tengo una corbata, me dio una muchacha, que ya no le quedan más que las hilachas. Apunte usted, señor escribano, el dedo en la pluma y la pluma en la mano y apunte usted. Tengo un beliz de marca extranjera. Les faltan las cachas y la brochadera. Apunte usted, señor Chivano, de la pluma y la pluma en la mano y apunte usted. Tengo un sombrero de cuero de conejo que ya no le queda más que el barbiquejo. Apunte usted, señor Chivano, de la pluma y la pluma en la mano y apunte usted. Tengo unos calzones de muy buena clase, que por donde quiera se ve lo de atrás. 
A punto usted, señor escribano, dedo la pluma, la pluma, la mano, y a punto usted. That is a tongue twister. So you learned that from your mother? From my mother, and she learned it from somebody. She was just a, a real good singer, my mother, you know. So your mother used to play something on the guitar called raindrops. Yeah, yeah my mother taught me this one time. She says, you know, here's those raindrops over there, Tony, and I said, yeah. She said, well, Tony, I'm going to play a tune to match those drops. I said, okay, mama. So I learned. Does sound like raindrops. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, they do sound like yeah. the raindrops, you know. And I really thank my daddy and mother, you know, for uh, teaching me the accordion and guitar, you know, because they were the ones that encouraged me. So they were pretty happy with music, you know. You could hear my dad playing. He would go on top of that mountain there and play the guitar where there's designs are there, you know. And then these people from Camp Davis, kids that used to come to school, they co used to call him Uncle Joe. And he would play the guitar there, or oh, my darling Clementine, or something like that, you know. And those kids loved him. And then, of course, my mother would cook over here. Maybe they would come and get a snack here. And but my mother was a kind of a person that she used to be really a joking person. She would say funny jokes, jokes, you know. She would like uh, she would sing these funny songs, you know, for people. And and my father was funny too. He. That's why I, I think I, I got the music from, because they were always joking and playing, and there was never a sad moment in this house. You know what I'd love to hear is that song, Ya No Me Quiero Casar. Okay, we go. Now, wasn't that written by one of your cousins? Well, here, you know, this tune, one time we had company here, and uh, my mother said, I'm going to play those, that tune, and the uh, people say, well, we haven't heard a tune named that way, and she said, well, yeah, this is my grandpa, her grandpa used to teach her that, you know. Mm -hmm. it's my uncle, Adolfo Chavez, used to make people laugh with that in the dances. And some of the ladies would get a little mad, you know. But he was just announcing everybody, you know, the old ones, the young ones, the skinny ones. And it tells about us all, you know. It doesn't leave anybody alone. It says he doesn't want to get married Nobody. because... Nobody, and then at last he's trying to go some other place if they don't like him, you know, and that's what makes it funny, you know. Yo no me quiero casar, yo no me quiero casar, porque mujer de mi gusto yo no la puedo encontrar. Las altas parecen flautas, las gordas un costal. Las chaparras son tan chicas que se pierden de dónde están. Si son también las trigueñas, que se dan dos mil mochazos, se dan unas repintadas que parecen un payaso. Si son también las flacas que parecen un alambre, se dan unas retorcidas porque a les anda de hambre. Si son también las viejitas que parecen orejones, sí. arrugando sus boquitas que parecen chicharrones. <risa> ya me voy para el abismo porque aquí me ha ido mal. Para que en el abismo ahí me pueda casar. Y si es que en el abismo no me encontraré bonita. Me pasó por purgatorio con las ánimas benditas. Y si es que en el purgatorio me va poquito peor. Me pasó para el infierno, a, a ti sales el perol. That's nice. That's cute. If I could translate it in English. 
if I don't. Oh, maybe that. someday you can yeah, figure yeah. out how to fit that, yeah. fit those words. You know, another song I love that you sing is Las Gaviotas. That's beautiful. In your F chord. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, play it, please. Que andan haciendo esas gaviotas que andan haciendo en gloria del mar. Andan buscando ni dos de amores, ni dos de amores se encontrarán. Qué bonito tener amores en este mundo que Dios formó. Dame un besito, dame un abrazo. Para que ya más confunde yo. ¿Qué dices, negra? Te agradezco que dices gracias porque parece que te gustó la canción. ¿Te gusta? I love it.